welcome back to the iRacing Driving School. Once you've mastered all the skill sets involved with driving the car, it's time to get down to the business of racing the car. The skill of truly knowing how to race is most commonly known as racecraft. It's the ability to assess your competitors on track, analyze and seize opportunities to pass other drivers, defend your position, control your emotions, and have a strong sense of awareness about what's happening around you when you're in the heat of battle. Each of these skills plays an important part in your success on the track. So let's go racing. Before we delve into the intricacies of passing other cars, there is one rule that must be followed in all forms of motorsport. This is the big one. No matter what series, track, or car that you're driving, it is the responsibility of the overtaking driver, meaning the car that is attempting to execute the pass, to make sure that the pass is made cleanly and incident free. Previously, we've talked about the importance of driving your own race and your own line, rather than that of the car immediately in front of you. Consider this, if you're following another competitor, you'll be going exactly the same speed as they are, which is hardly the optimum scenario for executing a pass. Experience will allow you to evaluate if you're faster than your competitor in one corner or another. Hopefully, one of those corners where your performance is superior will lead on to a straightaway that provides ample room to execute a pass. The discipline needed to execute a corner exit pass is to allow a gap to your rival so that you can get a run on them and convert your extra cornering speed to additional miles per hour down the straight. The trick, though, is timing. You want to position yourself so that you can execute the pass just beyond the track out point of the corner. If you leave too little of a gap, you could very well find yourself under the gearbox or rear bumper of your competitor at the apex of the corner, thus creating contact and possibly a spin. If you have to lift out of the throttle mid-corner, or if you leave too much of a gap going into the corner, there's a chance that you might not be able to catch alongside and pass your competitor on the ensuing straight. Certainly, practice and experience will improve your ability to judge exactly how much space you should leave for a given corner or competitor. Additionally, for situations where the closing rate is particularly high, it may be beneficial to aim for a slightly later apex, so that once you're exiting the corner, you have some available grip should you need to adjust your line prior to corner exit. In the next section on racecraft, we'll go over passing techniques, etiquette, and awareness on the racetrack.